Hey, honey, isn't that Rudiger suite over there? Do you want to go in? Um, honey, you never go to Vertigear Suite at the start of Computex. Why? Because once you go in there, you don't come out. Why not? My coverage of Computex 2017 is brought to you by Be Quiet, Cable Mod, Vertigear, and EVGA. Go ahead and check out the links below for more info. All right, I'm hopping into the, the cockpit, guys, so um, wish me luck. I'm also not a really great driver, um, as my close friends will tell you, so hopefully this simulator is forgiving. But uh, I really like how you just sort of get into this cockpit here. It's very easy and simple to use. You don't need any assistance. The pedals are very close to the driver, which is exactly my size, and everything feels super comfortable at this point. Um, you've got like a little uh, shifter right here. Steering wheel looks good. It's, it's very firm. It doesn't seem like it's wobbly whatsoever. Uh, the pedals also seem, there's a little bit of wiggle, but it's honestly not too bad. The, the metal plate can actually go forward or backwards, and it can also adjust in terms of tilting. So depending on your, t your height, not to mention the chair, can go back quite a bit and you can lock that in if you want if you don't want it to rock it offers just a ton of flexibility here while maintaining a very comfortable sort of sitting experience but let's go ahead and play some games probably not do this oh god i should make a disclaimer that i've never really actually played a vr racing simulator let alone actual racing simulators i, I have very limited experience with them so this is more of just how this is going to feel in terms of the accessories and this is automatic so i don't know why i'm grabbing the shifter it's just natural response, but again, everything seems really comfortable and this is quite, quite immersive. It's actually sort of hard to talk and narrate while I'm focusing on the road, which I think is sort of what you want in a simulator, is not to crash into the wall. All right, is there a way to, I should, how do I reverse? The other cool thing about this whole setup that Vertigear's implemented is that the, uh, the steering wheel at this point is sort of mounted to like a hot shoe plate. It's like a hot plate that you can actually just remove and swap out with another one. So instead of having to drill, let's say you have multiple steering wheels that you work with for various uh, simulators, you don't have to keep removing the individual um, uh, steering wheel and drill in a new one, for example. You can just sort of swap out the hot plate and already have your next steering wheel good to go. It literally takes like five seconds to swap out a steering wheel with this, which is very convenient. Um, the other great thing about this system is that you don't actually have to buy a completely new chair um, to use it. You can actually buy all these additional add-on accessories for VR for your next simulator and still maintain and still keep your, your same Vertigear chair. Actually, these parts are all compatible with um, pretty much the whole line of Vertigear racing chairs. And that's really nice. Instead of having to replace your entire setup and find out what to do with your old chair, you can just buy these parts modularly, if that's a word, and just add them on to your liking, which uh, is just very cost effective and, and space efficient as well. Now, like the flight simulator we did earlier, everything here feels really sturdy. It has a really solid feel and weight to it. Speaking of weight, this is the actual uh, steel construction. Um, this is one option that Vertigear is gonna be offering. They're also gonna be offering uh, carbon fiber, which is a bit lighter weight, so it is gonna cost a little bit more since it is a finer material. Oh, and there's another wall. All right, I've gotten really low to the ground to show you guys this, but it's super important, so listen up. This is the uh, the locking gas lift, this little metal bar here. Um, if, if you actually engage it, it sort of locks the entire uh, chair so that it doesn't swivel left or right, which is actually way more important than you might think, especially when you've got pedals in front and you're actually rocking a VR headset. Not only does that just keep you oriented in the correct direction, keep you facing the right way, but also prevents any sort of like tracking loss with your, with your HMD. So this is really an actual innovative sort of design that is gonna keep you on track and keep you on task with your gaming uh, experience overall. So this is, uh, again, part of the racing simulator here. You can see the metal bar that's kind of attached to the, uh, the, uh, the shaft here of the chair, and it goes all the way to the pedals. So this is really nice. Instead of having the pedals on the floor, first of all, if you're short like me, you can't really reach the floor. Um, and secondly, even if you are tall enough to reach the pedals, you can still potentially push the pedals back, and they might actually slide as you're using them, but that, this sort of corrects that issue uh, with this metal bracket here, this brace. Don't pretend like you're driving. I know you're not driving. Look at that. You're, you're a hack. You're a fraud, an absolute fraud. It's not your fault. What do you have to say for yourself? Fake news, fake news right there. Uh, I believe these accessories, this sort of setup, 
will be available to you guys sometime in Q4 of 2017. The other cool thing about this little setup here is when you're done with your simulation needs, you can just go ahead and pop that little button and the whole, this is the hot plate that I was talking about earlier, comes off very easily. And there's also a vanity plate that you can go ahead and swap in. Just type, just goes like this. Now you have yourself a little desk while you watch TV on the big screen or whatever it is. Um, this is actually fairly large. I mean, it's, it's relatively compact, big enough for a keyboard and mouse certainly, or you know, um, a tasty beverage if you would like that. Uh, but overall, this is a really sweet little package that you guys should definitely check out when it comes in stores. Ah, uh, this is the life. Waitress, bring me my food. What the heck is this? This is dirty. Get out of here. I want your dirty banana. Ah. There's a lot more banana than I bargained for. You know what would wash that banana down really good is a nice cold beer right now. Mm. Gotta love this place. Go Rudiger! Ow! <laughs>